Hey, did you take a fishing? How you doing? Hi oh, Liam, how you doing? So we're off to see some seals. Nearly 3,000 seals and nearly 1,200 pups. <laughs> Find them now. Hi Barry, how you doing? There's a fair few people down here today, I know that. There's people everywhere. You just gotta go along and you know keep going along the beach and find the spots where the seals are. There should be quite a few this time of year. So let's keep wandering along until we can find. There's people on all different spots. Hi Martin, how you doing? Welcome to the live. How's it going down there? Hi Steve. We're off to find some seals down there. This beach is full of seals. There should be around 3,000 seals on this beach and about 1,500 pups. If we can find them. Oh, we will find them because you can't miss them, there's so many of them. <laughs> you just got to find what part of the beach they're on at the moment. There's absolutely loads of people there. So what do we got? One on the beach just down here. Let's go a bit further over. Caught a few down in front of me. If you literally look along the beach, they're literally all the way along. There's a lot down to my left up there. So we'll go for a walk up there in a little while. Yeah, it's a bit of a walk. See the little pups, the little white ones? some loads of big adult ones as you can see and then there's little pups everywhere some multiple colored ones down here how you doing Peter?
So as you can all see, there's plenty of seals, but there's going to be lots more. Just got to walk along the pass we're allowed to go on because it's all buried off, which they always do on the breeding season. More pups down here. much at the moment. We've got some more down here. Look at that. Hi, Stephen, how you doing? Hundreds or no, more than hundreds, there's thousands of them. <laughs> One down here with a pup. <laughs> Just laying there, look. not a care to the world. Some out in the war as well, if you look around. Absolutely hundreds of people there. Hi Lordies, how you doing? I 
This one's a big mama. No, I don't think you would, Martin. But then there must be a lot of fish around here. Yeah? <laughs> I do fish the beaches not too far down the coast and still catch. Still fight. Maybe one on the beach down here. Don't know if you can hear that, it's whining away. Hello, Miss Waterside. We've only got a few thousand seals down on the beach here. <laughs> it's literally, I think it says on the board, there's three and a half thousand any digger. Big old things, is there? I'm not that close to them, but they're pretty big. hard for me to get near the edge because it's, it's all roped off. I'm trying to get near the pups and stuff. The little baby one just down here. Look. All the white ones are the baby ones. There's a massive one. A couple of massive ones sitting right here. Strange on noises, don't know if you can hear them. Hi Diana, how you doing? As far as I can see, along this beach, there's seals in every single bay at the moment. I'll we'll show you how far I can see. Look how crazy that is. <laughs> that is literally thousands and thousands of seals. Baby one down there. I wonder what they'd do if you were walking next to them on the beach. 
I've had a few stray ones come up to me when I've been fishing before, but... I'm going to say there's absolutely hundreds of people there. This is the time of year to come when they have all the pubs. It's not free, you have to pay to come in. But it's between three and five pounds, and depending on how long you want to stay, so it's not too bad. This place is absolutely jam packed full of them, Lloydies. There's three and a half thousand adults and 1700 pubs. Some down there playing in the water, look. Oh, seal fight. I think there's enough room on the beach, but it's <laughs> rolled over the other one. As far as I'm aware, I think this is the biggest population of seals in the UK. We literally got some right down on the edge here, right next to us. You can get them. It's a little pup right there. I say a little pup, they're not little, they're big, but they're not big compared to the mamas. One down here with the pup and the mother together. Seal down here is eating a seagull, well, look at that. Or eating something, it looks like a seagull. Don't know what it's going to do with it. And if they eat stuff like that, or. Certainly thinking about it, but I'm sort of looking at it and not knowing what's going on. Huh? <laughs> Cute little pup there, look. Looking towards us, <laughs> digging its nose in the sand. They soon start getting big, don't they? Well, then I suppose they wouldn't survive if not, would they? Yep, they are, Lloydies. This one's trying to play with that bird, but. Obviously doesn't realise that bird's not with us anymore. Some out there in the water, there's birds just walking around them. They're not trying to attack them, so I don't think they go after birds. 
they're probably out there eating loads of white. <laughs> oh, they're coming in with us, pup. It must take some energy for them to move around. <laughs> Maybe lava, they roll on top of each other and stuff. Right, I'm going to move on to the, along the cliff a bit, some extra bays. Hi, Mr. Bond, how you doing? Unbelievable, and how many there is. <laughs> On the UK beach, you can get them all together as what, getting up near 6,000. So it's, it's not free, but it's only a few pound. And they've got all proper wardens on here and everything. It's all run properly. They park you and stuff in the car park. It's um, three pound for two hours and five pound for more than two hours, basically. Which is not a lot of money to see this sort of thing, because not the sort of thing you see every day, is it? Keep going along because there's, well, there's literally miles if you want to. But I'll do a certain amount and then we'll come around the other side and come back the other way. Get fairly close to these ones here by the looks of things. 
So I'm fairly close, I'm up the top of the cliff, but... <laughs> Strange how they just lay there like a... <laughs> Some of the pops are just like a bit flat on there. Trying to walk along and look where I'm going as well as not walking into other people and not falling off the edge of the cliff because that's pretty much straight down over the edge of there. <laughs> Hello, CJ, how's it going? We're all good, we're just having a look at some seals today. I'm at Horsey Lloydies. Literally as in the animals, but Horsey. <laughs> How you doing then, I? Yeah, this is all shut off. You can't fish around there anyway. It's all fenced off, and as you can imagine, they're probably clearing up tons of white per day. <laughs> but to be honest, if you go down a couple of beaches, which I do quite often, either way, you catch fish. So they're not clearing the stocks. And as I say, there's about six thousand seals there, according to the numbers that have been counted. Oh, lovely. Thanks very much. Have fun, Stephen. Have fun. I'm in North Norfolk, CJ. And we're at a place called Horsey. chose to live here but there must be enough fish out there for them to live on. There'll be this many of them. Yep, they certainly are.
the little babies down here. Look. How you doing, fishing Amy? Yeah, they're great, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, little pups like these ones are. CJ, that's fine. Oh, some behind us in the bushes there. Yeah. Bear with me, because they're up on the path, <laughs> laying in the grass. I don't know how they got up here. It's a long trip for that to get all the way up the cliff and up where we are and onto the beach there. Say. How are you doing, Frenton? Look at that lot. Wow. Sorry if it's a little bit shaky, everyone, but I'm having to zoom in from quite a long way up the top of the cliff. Oh, here comes a little pup. <laughs> Where is it? Hi Maglin, how you doing? Welcome to the live. Thanks very much. Hi Lee, how you doing? We're at Horsey Lee, North Norfolk.
Bear with me everyone, <laughs> zoom your bag out. Still a few in there, there's one in the bush over here, look. <laughs> the dunes. They do get up here, somehow. What we'll do is we'll take a look at this here. And we'll walk down and through and down the other side. And there's even more there. <laughs> Looks like we can go in. Don't know if we're going to be able to see much. That's pretty much what that looks like. Alright, so we've got all of this ground here and they could be in this ground anywhere they want to be pretty much. <laughs> They're not stopped from going anywhere, they can be in any of this. All the way down here. Yeah, certainly is there I? There's all this ground, you can literally keep walking further and further down that way. And you can, well, you can literally go on for miles. So we'll, we'll go a bit further both ways. See what we can find.
There are a lot of the ones up here front and you can go in them. Most of them, to be honest. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get down here. I'm going to wander along and we're going to go a bit further along the cliffs. And then I'll back up the top there. See what we can find down that end. But I can see left and right there's lots more seals. So there's lots more to see. Oh yeah. Whew. Certainly keep your fit when you got wellies in your suit on. I cast as they do. Yeah. There's literally hundreds. I'm just trying to sort of stare at the crowds of people. And so there's literally hundreds of people everywhere. I'm just trying to find my own little spots where I can have a look and sort of be away from big groups. But wherever you go, by well, looks things are absolutely jam-packed with them. <laughs> I've got a long walk back to the car. <laughs> All part of the fun there. You have to walk it along these fences and then you go up and it's they let you go along, it's all patrolled. You can't just go anywhere. You just have to bear with me just to get around the corner here. And hopefully we can go up on the cliff again and see some more. Obviously they've got to leave some of the bits, you know, all fenced off so people can't get to them. Just, you know, leave them undisturbed. That's certainly the most seals I've ever seen before in one spot. You see them now and again along the coast, and you, know, you might see three, four, five if you're lucky. You certainly don't see 6,000. <laughs> That's a lot of seals. Where are we? Would it surprise me if in these puddles there's white in these? <laughs> they get everywhere. Dogfish in the post, Mr. Bond. <laughs> Be interesting. Oh, jeez. I <laughs> don't know how far I've got to go along here. Yeah? Surely we'll be going up a cliff again soon. Yep, I know that, Stephen. <laughs> it's in the title. Oh, we've got some more people down here, so they're regulating what's happening. Oh, there's seals in the puddles down there. That'll be interesting. I weren't expecting that one. Shows how far they come off the beach, don't it? They come up right up over these cliffs, look. I mean, there's the cliff over the other side. There's a really steep edge. Somehow they come up and over the top and they're sitting down here in the puddle at the moment <laughs> so that'll be interesting better get very close you'll see them in a sec they're not pups but those things oh one might be
Oh yeah. Nice. Um. Oh. Going the wrong way, are they? <laughs> um, I think so. Um. Hang on a minute. Yeah, you carry on. You're right. Hello. <laughs> Different than everyone. We didn't expect them to be like that, would you? Sitting up here in the puddles. I don't know, Joe. I mean, you know there's quite a few other cars. Yeah, no, yeah. Which is a bit worrying for people congregating. Yeah. I don't want them to get distressed. We've just got to quite quickly walk by and not, you know. How far along were the people? Well, they're just between here and where you turn down to, but there's the a path. Yeah, on the footpath, there's a couple of fields. You know, they can make a growling noise. And they're yes. not, they're, don't get me wrong, they're not aggravating anything, but they're just yeah. all sort of looking. One couple's got a dog, and that's just been Oh, big Dan, how you doing? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. yeah, a long way away from the seawater. Yeah. Thanks. Should we carry on? They won't hurt you. <laughs> Kids and stuff are getting scared to walk past them now. You've got people all sort of ganging up there now because they're scared to walk past them. I think they're going to snap and take their legs off or something. <laughs> I don't think they're vicious like that, something. Or you wouldn't be allowed to be walking down here, would you? I don't know if there's any more down here, there's a few people looking down here as well, so there might be some more on the, on the path down here. There's lovely countryside and stuff around here though. This is basically what I'm in, look. Yep, there's another one up here on the pathway. There's an electronic fence all the way along the bottom here, so I'm guessing they're not going to go along there. This one's a fairly small one. Get much closer than that. Hello, Mr. Seal.
Looks like we've got some more beers on everyone. Strange how they come this far down, aren't they? As we walk along these paths and stuff, they've got like posts for the kids and stuff to do or people to do. So you can obviously answer the questions and stuff and then lift it up and you get the answer. Which is quite good. I don't think these ones are going to be impressive to walk through the middle of them, but we're about to find out. Hello, Mr. Seal. Uh, Big Dan, I got that as well. I weren't sure about that. I've copied it and kept it on my phone, but I've deleted it off my account. Oh, this seal's not very impressed with me. Look like he's blind in one eye, poor thing. They make some funny noises, don't they? <laughs> Yep, same to you. <laughs> oh. Get down the level and see what it's like, shall we? It's literally right in front of me, looking at me. Probably thinking, what am I doing? This one over here seems a bit agitated though. It's not because of me, I think it's got... It looks like it's been attacked. This poor eye don't look too good at all on the right-hand side. It's making all sorts of noises. <laughs> Unless that's calling this one, I don't know. Don't know whether I should walk past them or not, to be honest. I don't know if I'll like it or what they would do. If they're all on one side it won't be so bad but if I've got to walk through the middle of them. <laughs> this one's about to go and play in the water. We can get a bit further down the path. We can get them back up over the hill, and we'll see thousands of them again. <laughs> oh, cheers, Miss Waterside. Don't need to be getting bit by a seal. <laughs> I think I'd hurt. Take a chunk out of my leg. I suppose they've got no way of getting them back down to the beach when they're up here, have they? They go where they want to go. So they're all in the heaths up here and to the left as well. They can't go no further right because there's an electric fence. They're boxing me in now by the looks of it. <laughs> it's not like I can step over the rope and go up through the heath as well either because you just can't. There's nowhere else to go. So I've got no way around them really. The one on the right there doesn't seem too, too impressed with me being here. See what he's got to say, do we? No, <laughs> he don't want to see me there, do he? Is he going to move? We want him to move forward, really. Then we can just walk behind him. Hey, you. Yeah, we can see you. One at the back is just asleep, not even bothered that I'm there. Look at that one, <laughs> not in, not bothered what's at all. This one down in the middle is making all sorts of noises. <laughs> Oh, 
Hey, noise there. As you can probably see, they're, they're not small pups, they're proper adults. <laughs> well, you know, getting up that way, at least. This one here don't seem to be too bothered. Well, I think that one in the middle there would probably snap. <laughs> the other two are not bothered, I don't think. Looking at me saying, what you doing? Oh, it's moving away from me now. Look. <laughs> no, they're certainly not underfed. <laughs> Can you imagine what they're eating in the sea down here? You think of me tons of whiting are out there. They're probably just feeding on whiting in the winter. No, we've been told to, when we see them like this, whatever, you've got to walk past them gently and quietly. You've got to try not to disturb them. There's wardens all over the place, so don't want to be getting in trouble. They try and move them off these paths while it looks of it, but they got no, they can't exactly pick them up and carry them back down to the beach. We're at the other side of the cliffs there. Yeah, if I had a fish, I'd be a while away, wouldn't I? A couple of white, and there you go. <laughs> There's a couple of people now coming from my right, so we'll see what they do to that. <laughs> Don't get much closer than that, do you? <laughs> we were on a, we a five-mile walk. We were on a How are you? <laughs> we were on a hike, but we weren't like on the beach. Ah, oh, what? Yeah. You can get on the beach further down to the right there. I've been up on the beach, so. Yeah, well, cars park there. We're yeah. You went right round, yeah. You went horsey and went round there. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, but that's all fenced off up there, isn't it? That green container, so you can't get on the beach. Oh, what? Well, I'll go back that way then. There's <laughs> more in the sand. Yeah. Probably heard there, I'm being told, uh, down there where that green container is down there. You can see that further down there in the distance. That's all fenced off and you can't go any further. So they've obviously all come up on the track up here and they don't want you going no further. But I'm glad I come down here because obviously I've got that clo this close to them, so. I'm literally right in front of them now. <laughs> How close can we get without losing fingers? <laughs> This one in the middle is a bit grumpy, but this one on the end is seemed quite tame and timid or whatever you want to call it. Just laying there, loving it, look. Oh. Hi, Jamie, how you doing? Oh, no, it's going to roll over now. It's tummy, look. <laughs> they make some funny old noises there, don't they? Hi, Robert, how you doing? Hi Mick. Yeah, they're sort of settled down now. They're just happy for me to sit right next to them. I'm literally right next to them, as you can see. I couldn't get any closer. I always stretch my arm out and can pretty much reach them. <laughs> right, so I can't carry on that way where I was going. So I'm going to have to head back the other way and we'll go to the left. Give it a belly rub. I don't think I'll be impressed. <laughs> Where the fish? Every little move I make, one in the middle is looking at me, just talking and it's a bit nervous. So I think I'm blind in the other eye, this one. They are looking at me, but I don't think they're too bothered, to be honest.
back ones wake up a bit now. Well, I wasn't expecting to be able to get this close to one, so that's quite good. I've had them come up on the beach in front of me before when I've been fishing, just a one, you know, one off sort of thing, but not in groups. <laughs> I think I'm sneezing. He's moving away from me. I got a bit too close, I reckon. He's starting to move away from me. This one here seems quite thingy though. I don't want it to go funny on me. That's about as close as, close as we're getting. They're not, they're not impressed. Tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> uh, long way, right up a cliff and all the way down the dunes. Must have took them a fair while to get here. How they move. The cliffs, uh, well, we'll zoom out, I'll show you how far away from the top of the cliffs we are. <laughs> They've come all the way down there. And all the way along here. But how they get up a cliff though, the cliffs are steep. I think they're getting in order with each other now. <laughs> getting too close to each other. I don't think that's me. Yeah, this is the season. Well, basically January, February. This is a little bit early this year, but January, February, um, they come in and they have the pups. You can still come along here and see some seals, but they all come here at this time of year. And sort of January into February. Once the pups are born, they stay on the beach for about three to four weeks while they're still white. And then as they turn into gray seals, you get this gray pattern that these ones have got. You know, and get sort of more weight and length and stuff. Then they'll eventually learn to swim and go out to sea and start feeding on the fish, but at the moment the mothers feed the babies. I don't know this from experience, I'm just reading the signs as I go around and stuff, and listening to the wardens and the people doing the tours and stuff like that. And that's what I've heard so far. Oh, what happened there? Sorry about that everyone, my um, gimbal's gone flat so I'm going to have to hold you in my hand so it's going to be a bit, bit shakier than what it would be, normally. But I'll do my best, we'll keep it going. I wasn't expecting that to go flat but that has. <laughs> right, they're getting annoyed with each other so I'm going to start heading back this way and we'll see what we can find down the other end there. So it's going to be a bit shakier now because the old gimbal's gone flat. Which is a pain. But I've got no way of putting any power on it. You have to plug it in and just let it charge itself up. Which I had already done. But uh, this is my second video for the day because I've been I've done a live on my car channel as well. Just doing an update on the unit and stuff like that. So I suppose I've used the battery up. Which is not so good.
Hello, Mr. Seal. Yeah, this one seemed quite friendly, to be honest. I could probably touch that one. <laughs> I'm clicking my fingers and stuff at it and underneath the camera and that's just looking at me. <laughs> literally watching where my hand go. If I move my hand around side to side, click my fingers, that's following me. Yeah, it'd be funny if I got a mouthful of water squirt at me, wouldn't it? Oh, we've got a load of people coming up behind us now, so we'll move on and find some more. Stranger, they just sit there in a puddle of water, and I suppose that's like us just laying in the bath, isn't it? Mick Hoyle, that certainly is North Norfolk. <laughs> Down on the beach where I was earlier on, there's literally, I can't remember what it was now, 3,700 adults and 1,700 pups, I think it was. Over 6,000 seals, so we'll head back that way, like I said, be a bit shaky because I ain't got the gimbals and stuff now. If you can just bear with it like that, we'll get back up onto the beach. We'll go along and we'll see literally thousands more seals. There'll probably be some more in the. There's probably loads in these dunes and stuff, I just can't see them because of the long grass. Unless they sit up or roll over or something like that. Or I manage to just catch a glimpse of one. Can't say I've tried seal before. That'd be different. I know people make seal skin clothes and stuff like that, but I think they're quite nice just to see, to be honest. So I can see some ranges further down here, so. There's probably some more on the path here. Good luck with that, Stephen. You missed the seals being right close up to us. I had them literally right in front of my hands just now. So we've got some more down here in the puddles, so they're obviously coming off the heath up here because these ones weren't here on the way up. So let's see what these are up to. Oh, here's one in the grass here, look. Hello, Mr. Seal. That's what they do, they literally come up over the top of these massive cliffs and heaths all the way down and just find ways. So yeah, it's definitely, well, as you can imagine, with 6,000 seals being about, they're going to be all over the place, aren't they? Which is what they are. This one's sort of rooting around in the grass, don't know what I was looking for. Ain't going to find no fish in there. It's not bothered that I'm right behind it, though. And this one's laying in the water. <laughs> Just got his eyes poking out. Look at it looking at us. Just put his eyes underwater so it can't see us now, look. <laughs> that certainly is a seal. How you doing, Alicia? 
I'll show you hundreds more in a minute when we go back up on the beach. Unless, or if you go back to the beginning of the live, you'll literally see thousands of them. But these are actually on the footpath. This one's playing peekaboo with me. <laughs> Yep, blowing bubbles and all sorts. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Seal. <laughs> Alright, we'll move on because there's lots of people coming. Right, back down this way then. Oh, welcome to the channel, Alicia. Is that Alicia? Yeah. yeah, welcome to the channel. Feel free to join in with the chat and have fun. We do this every week. We do walk arounds like this. I share wildlife. I go out on the boat. I do fishing trips. I walk around towns. Holiday towns, I walk around holiday seafronts, I do all sorts of things, so feel free to join in. We get lots of new members every week, lots of new people joining in, and we've also got lots of older members that are part of the community, and it's all great fun. Thank you. Right, so I'll get back down towards the beach and we'll look back over the top of the cliffs again and we'll go to the left this time instead of the right and we'll see how many we can see down that end. I already know from getting out of the car and looking over the top that there's a good few thousand seals on the beach so we're going to see plenty more in a minute. <laughs> Just give me a chance to get back down there. Don't know how many miles I walked today but I've done a lot. Whew. Just to get down here and Show everyone what's what. That's all part of the fun. Keep me fit, then. <laughs> Every time I go out and do one of these walks, I look back and I think, oh, oh I've done six mile walking today. <laughs> Surprising. And I do it three times a week sometimes. Then I'm out on the boat, then I'm on the fishing trips. Then I do the stuff I do at work. That all add up like going to the gym, really. Don't need to. <laughs> So a few people are going to get to see them close up on the path down there. But not many people, I don't reckon. Most people stay up on the top of the cliffs, up the top there. And don't walk this path. Because the other end of this, well, the length of this path is five miles long, so... Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'd already done a lot of the walk before I obviously went live and stuff. Ooh, I'm a bit out of breath, but I'm doing my best. Just a shame that's a bit shaky now because I can't use the old gimbal. Shame how long the battery's lasting them, and you think it lasts a lot longer, wouldn't you? Or is that because my lives are so long? <laughs> Ah, oh, Alicia, you fish as well, do you? Sounds good. I'll get on, the, on your channel later on and subscribe to you. We'll get you a few subs from this side of the community. And we'll have a look and see what you do. Oh, I am a bit the trouble is, it's not just that, I've got me whole fishing suit on and I'm in wellies and yeah it just makes it a lot harder to walk we've got all my fishing you know the whole fishing gear on that I put on in the winter to keep warm and to be honest that's roasting <laughs> don't really need it but I knew I needed the boots just to walk through the puddles and stuff like that and believe it or not there's literally hundreds of people here but I'm just walking off the paths that people in walking off if that makes sense 
I'm going to walk back up the, the hill here. Oh, there's one right on the end there. Oh, I thought that piece of wood there was a pup. <laughs> I'm seeing things now. From a distance, that looked like a white pup. Right, so we're going up the cliffs. You'll see now how far they've travelled to get all the way to where they were. Oh, I never got to walk up this cliff. Lovely. Oh, bear with me for a second, everyone. I've got no drink or nothing with me. <laughs> Can't be helped sometimes, Mick. Sometimes we do all the planning, get all the best bait you can get. You know, put the hours in. Sometimes the fish are just not there. There's nothing you can do about it. At least you're out there giving it a go. Sounds good, Alicia. That's the sort of thing I like to watch. The sort of people I like to be involved with. Sounds good to me. Right, as you can see, we're meeting a few people now, which means we're going to find a load more seals. Here we go. There you go, thousands of them. All the way along the coast as far as you can see. Yeah, we see seals at the zoo, but these are wild. <laughs> Which is what make it fun. These two are arguing. Let me walk along a bit and I'll see what I can find. <laughs> As you can see with that one there on the right there, it hasn't made it. Quite a few of the pups don't make it. Sometimes they get just rolled on by the parents, just get crushed, or they get snapped up by the bigger ones, or could be anything. so much harder for me to show them without me gear working and going flat but I'm doing my best to hold up both arms and keep it steady hopefully the wind is not too bad for you yeah certainly is
Yeah. So right in front of us here, I'm careful that fall off a cliff. We'll get in the area, edge and zoom in for you. What's wrong everyone? You're saying there's no Jay, no Martin. It could be in something else. Could be moderating another channel. Could be asleep. Yeah, Alicia. Normally I'll have me mics on, but when I'm using the gimbal, you can't run your mics. But in 90% of my sessions, I would have me mics on. They're lovely different colours, aren't they? Yeah, the motley coloured ones, the brown ones, the blacky sort of coloured ones, white ones are pups. This one's a pup right here. I can't get any closer, I'm doomed right in. No, not really, Alicia. They are the predators. <laughs> they eat all the fish.
<laughs> They're all chasing them away from their pups. As soon as the big, the brown ones get close, they get chased away. I'll look over here. The female stay with the pups. more all the way along the picture. Don't know if you can hear them making noises over the wind. I'll just see if you back out. Walk more on the cliff. Noisy, yeah, you can hear them, can you? <laughs> That's the sort of noises that you make on the lives at night, friend. <laughs> I think we know that by now, Stephen. <laughs> you told us about 10 times. You got more chance of people watching your videos if you don't over promote them. I learned that at the beginning. You're better off spending your time learning how to make better videos and people will just come. You don't need to advertise. Sorry, I'm all shaky. It's just I've been holding this up for I don't know about three hours now. Not on here, but on both lives. Well, I've been on here over an hour and a half now, and the work and stuff I've been doing at the unit lately, and all the Christmas shopping. My arms are getting knackered. <laughs> so that's a lot. Better footage at the beginning of the video when I had the old gimbal on, but it's nothing I can do about it right now. Big old birds walking around in between them and stuff. They're not bothering too much for lots of things. And we've got these two down here, then there's some pups laying around the sides of them. There's one to the left there, then they look as made it. There was actually quite a few around it, then look like it's made it, but that's all part of how it goes. Yeah, Miss Wartside has been putting up with it for a year and a half now. It's a right pain in the butt, they don't seem to be able to do anything about it. Which is not nice, but not much we can do about it either. It's not down to money or nothing like that, it's just they just don't know anything they can do. you just got to put up with it and keep going.
excuses the excuses from Miss Warside there. Look. Just because she can't fish, don't mean she can't come with me and commentate, does it? Go on, you tell her. She could be on here talking to you, can't she? I know she is in the chat. So the tide's come up a fair bit now, and so. Mum there with a pup, look. Like. See how easy it is for them to get rolled over onto. If they don't move. Hello, Jay, how you doing? You been asleep, have you? <laughs> You're late. <laughs> you missed all the fun. I've been right up the seals. Literally right in front of the camera, right in, you know, near my hands. You should go back and have a little look. There's a new one, but whoever else made it or not, I'm not sure. This one over here is starting to lose its white colours and go grey. That's about three weeks old. Ah, uh, no problem, Jay. You missed the fun of when I was walking up the footpath, and out there's a load of these down on the path. And I literally had to go right next to them, so I crouched down and Got close in. <laughs> yeah, no problem.
two pups down there, look. Strike, Big Dan, strike. <laughs> Jay, stop putting Mrs. Waterside with an E on the end of Joe. <laughs> Jay, stop putting Mrs. Waterside with an E on the end of Joe. Strucker, seal on. Cross fighting well. It's coming in, look at this. Whoa. It's a good one, isn't it? Would you reckon that way? Oh, definitely. <laughs> oh, big Dan. <laughs> That's a not a very nice thing to say, is it? You tell him, Miss Waterside. Oh, I can hardly feel my arm shaking. <laughs> but I shall carry on while I'm alive the best I can. See a few more pups over down here, so we'll see if we can get close to them. There's a whole family here, look. Pop and the mum and dad. If anyone comes up to North Norfolk, this is definitely worth a walk and a look round. It's a nice walk, nice beach. Oh, look at that, look, we've got a pup and a mum sitting right here. Look. That pup's fairly big at the time, that should be turning grey soon. Oh, look at that, it's waving at you. <laughs> no, it's itching. It looks like it's waving at you, doesn't
can't stay on too much longer, everyone, because we've got more Christmas chopping to do with Miss Waterside. Spent all yesterday doing it and got more to do today. And then she's got to go to hospital. No, I am at Horsey. Ooh. No problem. Should have seen how close we were down there. There's about 10 on the path down there. Yeah, I know, but we just prefer literally. to literally. <laughs> yeah, well, they, they, if it's their home, I mean, oh, yeah. keep the distance. So, we Fair enough. encourage people to go and play. You go on the bottom footpath, they're literally all the way along the path. You can walk right up to them. <laughs> yeah, down the bottom. If you go to the end where that. Old um, war thing is, walk down to the path, they're all in the bottom, in the puddles. <laughs> not sure whether that one person's doing that, that's not really worth it. Because as you saw, there's loads more down in the puddles further down. to have cuddled up, but <laughs> it's different. It's strange, because that bay there has got hardly any on. There's one on there in the middle. And then if you look further down, the next bay is absolutely packed. So we'll walk down there, down towards that bay, see what we can find down there. Yeah, I suppose different officials have different way of doing things, but as you saw down on the path, you can walk right up to them down the bottom path where there's lots of them and where there's one up the top here there detouring you around the dunes. <laughs> so that doesn't really work out too well, but I would guess different volunteers have got different ways of doing things. So sorry about the shaky movements, there's nothing I can do about it today. The first hour of the video was on the gimbal, but then the gimbal went flat. So this is the only way I could finish it. Whew. While out of breath, oh, I've got people standing in my car looking at my car by the looks of it. <laughs> you probably can't see that, but I can. If you look there, there's my car. There's two people standing right next to it looking at it. <laughs> They're not scratching enough and they're fine. Oh, my arms, my legs, my back, everything. I 
be prepared if you come and do this walk because it, it's quite a way. <laughs> Especially if you do the whole round footpath, the whole circle. That's over five miles. But you can um, walk car. Uh, we own loads of car <laughs> cases. We have over, well, I think we've got 30 odd at the moment. Yeah. But there's about 15 down the oh, bottom half. <laughs> That's why it's shut. Literally there a minute ago. You, you can't get past. See? <laughs> it's yeah. great. We just got grabbed there asking about the pops and stuff. Uh, that's what we're in today, Casters. CMG, it's a five color flip paint, rare car. There's only four in the world. And that's the only one on the road. That's what I do for a living. I build cars, show cars, repairs, MOTs, spraying, all that sort of stuff. I've got another channel on here for that. If anyone's interested, that's Car Transformation UK on YouTube. And that's another channel I've got. Good sign, isn't it? Yeah, no problem. I ain't doing too much on there at the moment. We've just got another new unit. And, oh, <laughs> I can't go up this end look at what I do. But the looks of things. What I'll do is, um, because we're shut off here, obviously the seals are coming up, but then there's a car park by the looks of it. So I'll just walk through this bit here and go up onto the cliffs and see if we can see anything on this side. It says seals that way, but that's where they all want you to go. And see what we can see from the top of here. And then, like I say, I'm going to have to get back in the car and get back to Miss Waterside. Because we're off to town to do some more Christmas shopping. <laughs> Tire my arms out even more. It's all good fun, though. I'm sure we'll get a nice frothy hot chocolate or something like that while we're out as well. So I'm up for that. <laughs> Don't forget my other channel, Father Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> Just going up a cliff so we can see if we can get to the top. It's not fenced off, so there's no reason why we can't. Don't know if they're this far down, but I'm pretty sure they are. I could see them all the way along the beach both ways, pretty much. As far as I could see. I'm not sure how close to the beach we can actually get on this cliff. But it's certainly worth a look, isn't it? I've certainly put my steps in today and I ain't finished yet because I've got to go town next <laughs> as I was saying oh right so we're up to the top of the cliffy bits where's the seals I can see seals further out in the water so I'm guessing there'll be some on the beach I'm the only one literally here so if this is a good spot hopefully oh look at that how perfect is this you won't you see this lot Everyone's going to the right, and there's literally thousands of them to the left. Oh, oh the beach is absolutely covered in them. Let me find a spot so I can show you. Without slipping down the cliff, because that wouldn't be funny. Because I'm well up here. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, how close can we get without... Look at the size of these. 
I've actually swam out there and I had one of these big old things come up right next to me while I was swimming once. <laughs> but look at this lot. All different browns and whites and blacks and greys. Cheers for coming in, Mick. Everyone's going everywhere, and there's absolutely hundreds of them this way. This is where all the pups are, by the looks of it. Let me get further down, and we'll zoom in again. There's a lot more pups than this end than there is. There is down the other end. Oh, there's one staring at me right here. I can see me. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Seal. It's weird how they look at you as you walk past. Literally hundreds and hundreds of them all over the place. Bear with me just a sec. <laughs> Ooh. I'm literally on the side of the cliff, as you can see. <laughs> Couldn't get any The beaches are absolutely random. Right, everyone.
Right, I've got to start heading back, everyone, because time's ticking away. I've got to drive back home. Oh, there's one right in front of us here. Didn't see that one. This is the one we want to get close to, really. It's looking at us. Bear with me, I'm trying to zoom in and Signals on. Right, okay everyone, I'm going to have to call it time now because I told Miss Waterside I'd be back at half two and it's already three o'clock. So I need to get back to the car and get back. As I'll say, I've got to go out and do some Christmas shopping. So happy Christmas everyone. And I'll probably see you on another live before we get to the end of the year. I'll probably be chatting to her further tonight on some other lives and stuff like that. So... Have a fun day. Thanks everyone for coming in. Appreciate your time. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm quite impressed. I didn't think I'd see that many seals. It was pretty good going. And I'll say everyone stay safe. And I'll speak to you very soon. Thanks a lot for coming in.